channels understand that developing countries are those countries which are still need a lot of development and help from others to run their country or to develop their people, right? With this, our house believes that developing countries should require foreign companies who are operating in our territory to have this kind of uh, re of minimum quota of hiring our local people in order to develop our country, our people. Our goal in this debate is actually pretty simple. What we want is to help uh, and develop our human resources by utilizing the foreign companies that operating in our ter territory. Before moving on to my argument, I'm going to bring several points of clarification. The first point of clarification is about the characteristic of the developing country itself. Panels noticing on how the developing countries are those who are haven't reached the stability or the capability to organize their country to be qualified as a developed country, right? Our house believes that by utilizing the foreign companies to have a minimum quota of hiring the local people, uh, the local workers is so justifiable because at the end of the day, uh, it's already the government responsibility to, to developing our human resources and from the very first place the government has the right to give this kind of requirements uh, to the foreign companies because they are operating in our territory, right? So I think there's nothing wrong if we want to utilize them to developing our local workers by giving this minimum quota of hiring. Second point of clarification, we are only giving these requirements to the foreign companies which are operating in uh, in the part of developing countries territory or have their companies obviously in our territory and etc or even selling their product in our country to our people like Toyota, Google, Maybank, Samporna and etc. This kind of requirements will be given like through their companies, uh, through, through the work contract because we believe that before they are able to operate in their companies in our country of course they must following several rules or requirements right these re requirements will be one of the rules that are being given we're and we're going to make like the minimum uh, percent of the local people to work in their company so they are actually still able to take their people or foreign people to work in their company to run their company etc just but just with the minimum comp comparison between the foreign workers and the local workers. Now moving on to my arguments. Uh, first, I'm going to bring why it is principally justifiable for the developing country to require uh, foreign companies to have a minimum quota of hiring local workers. And the second, I'm going to talk about how it will create a better local human resources at the end of the day. Moving on to my point of justification. Panels, uh, I think that there are no reasons for the developing countries to not able giving this kind of regulation to the foreign companies. Why? Point A, as a developing country, I think we should utilizing the foreign people, uh, the foreign companies in order to developing uh, our human resources, right? By giving this kind of minimum requirements of hiring the local workers, we believe that we can expand the job vacancy for our people. Noticing on how in the status quo, people in the developing countries are still struggling to have a job, right? We can see on uh, on how the people with lower economic status are still so many in the developing countries. And one of the reasons are because of the lack of job opportunities or even the proper job opportunities. Especially in our country, the basic income are still a are still in the very low number. Besides, it is still not it is still so not enough for people to survive in this modern world. But if we can make the foreign companies to give more extra vacancy for the local people, not only we can expand the job vacancy, but we can give our local people the opportunity to have a proper job and a proper income from the foreign companies. Because once the foreign companies are able to create the international market by operating in other countries. I think that uh, we can say that companies is uh, qualified uh, is qualified enough to give a proper income for the workers, right? Point B panels. I think at the moment the foreign companies want to operating their companies in our developing countries, like Google operating. Uh, or even have their office in Indonesia, they already have the responsibility to follow the requirements or to the, uh, or the regulations that are being given by our government, right? And uh, if you don't want to follow the regulation that you can't operate in your companies in our territory, as simple as that, right? Um, 
Uh, but once you are a big company and want to operate your companies in international scale and then you choose to operate it in the developing countries or uh, of course it means that there's something that there's something that they can they see from our countries right even maybe they want to reach uh, like more people and expanding their market because they see that uh, the developing countries have a lot of people that might interested in their product or on what uh, they offer uh, and etc and what's once they want to operate in the companies in our country means that they are they that there are something uh they that they looking for in our country so i think there's nothing wrong with giving these requirements to prioritize our local workers to work in their companies right because at the end of the day it will create a win-win solution of uh, for both sides the local companies are getting uh what they the foreign companies are getting what they want by operating in our territory and but we also can utilize them by giving our local people a uh, proper job vacancy and proper work experience so at the end of the day it wouldn't be a problem at all now moving on to my second argument on how it will create a better local human resources at the end of the day panels i think we all agree that the characteristic of the foreign companies are those companies that are already a big companies right a proper and advanced companies right because at they are able to operating in international scale like google maybank and etc they're uh, they're operating in indonesia and other developing countries but uh, with this characteristic that means that they already have the capability in having a good organization or operating system right like uh, we can see in the status quo that the foreign uh, the foreign company is seen as the prestigious companies right like like when when we see people oh you work in google you you must be very smart and etc why because uh like when we can like when people work at google we see them as a successful or smart individual because once you work at google you will get the work experiences that not everybody are able to get that kind of experience why ladies and gentlemen because it's international company of course how they operate their companies or how their system and etc will be different on how this uh, on how the system that are being implemented on the on the local companies in developing countries right so once the foreign companies expand their vacancy for the local people means uh means we are giving the opportunity for more people we giving uh the opportunity for more people right more people that are being able to work in the foreign companies more people that are getting those kind of experience to work in the international companies to learn how they're operating it or uh, learn how their system are and so on and so forth with these experiences we can create a better uh we can create a better human resources for our local people which are very important in the in the developing countries because when we can have a better human resources we also can create a better people in the future with those kind of experience like how they run their own, own companies maybe and or how their mindset regarding to work and etc until the end of this debate still so proud to propose this motion thank you